y'all it's your girl Mia welcome welcome back to another video if you are new smash that subscribe button make sure you give me a thumbs up and let me know what type of vlogging camera you have today we are talking about one of the best vlogging cameras which is a Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II let's get into the review all right guys real quick so I've been had this camera for a year now um, so when you see it been a little dinged up and banged up, <laughs> just no, just no, but no, seriously, this is one of the best cameras. So I just wanted to let y'all know what type of settings I use on my Canon G7 X Mark II. Like I just mentioned, I did drop my camera, so make sure if you get one of these cameras or just any camera with a screen on it, you get the screen protectors. So I got these over at Amazon. If I get the link still. I'll drop it in the description for y'all. So let's go ahead and get into the settings that I use for my vlogging camera. Alright, so you got the expandable end, you got the speaker right here, you got the zoom in and out right here, you got the uh, button so if you were on the photos, you would just take the picture by clicking that. And then you have like the different little options here to choose from, manual, portrait, TV, um, AV, auto, camera all that so yeah and then this is the ap aperture i do believe um setting so let's go ahead and get into it all right so let's go ahead and get into the settings so the camera settings i got the af and zoom so this is the um the tracking the camera will focus on the face or any type of subjects so i like to keep it on the tracking where it's like an automatic, you know. Uh, this is just focusing using the selected AF point. So I just like to keep it on that. So that's the setting I go for is the AF, okay? Then I also keep it the AF option or operation on one shot. So you got one shot and then you got the servo. The servo is the focusing on moving subjects. And this is just for focusing on still subjects. So I like to just keep it on the one shot. And then for the uh, image quality, I just keep it on raw. Uh, with the raw, I feel like it just gives you the best uh, image. This is the high quality. You got the standard. And then you have the high quality for prints. So like it lets you know like which, lets you know like which, um, what it's for basically, you know? So that's why I just more or less keep it on the raw. Um, because the image type for advanced adjustments on a computer. So, yeah, anyway. For the movie recording size, I keep it on the FDH 29.97. Um, it lets you know if you want the full HD recording at the high frame rate or just a full HD recording. I can go high, but I'm going to just keep it on this one. And then, of course, they got the film shooting, and then the recording HD, and then the um, standard definition. So, I just keep mine on the FD, I'm sorry, FHD 29.97P. For the self-timer, of course, with me recording for vlogs, I don't need a self-timer. But if I wanted to do like a thumbnail or something like that, I could use the self-timer on there. And then this is the ND filter. So this is like if you wanted to reduce the light, have the natural um, lighting. So I just keep mine on the ND auto. You can have it on the reduced shutter speed and aperture. Like I said, I just keep it on auto, okay? This is just the back button, okay? If you just wanted to go back to the main screen. Um, the ISO speed. I normally keep mine, it just really depends, but I keep it on auto, okay? I don't touch it, I let it automatically adjust. Mm -hmm. And then for the uh, balance of the picture, I just keep it in the AB or AWB. The AWB is the white balance for the natural look. Daylight, I don't know if y'all could see the difference, but the shade, cloudy, so it like lets you know like the settings, what they're best for. So that's why I just keep mine in the AWB, just for auto. So it depends like if I'm outside, it's just gonna automatically adjust or whatever. And then the picture style, I just end up keeping it at the P, okay? Um, 
The picture style is just basically choose the image effect to suit the subject or the scene. Um, so if I was outside landscaping, fine detail, neutral. So it just got, you know, monochrome. So I got different settings, but like I said, I just keep mine in the portrait mode. That's it. And then for the meter mode, I just keep that, whatever this is, choose the meter mode. So I just keep that right there because I don't know what the meter mode is all about, but I just keep that right there. Um, this is the spot meter for meter and specific small subject. Okay. So if it was a small object, I would use that. And this would be for brightness. So that's why I keep it in that. Okay. And then the auto lighting, I just keep mine off. Mm-hmm. They got the low, they got the standard, and the high. But I just keep mine off because there's no need for it, okay? So, yeah, guys, this is the settings that I use for when it comes to vlogging. Let's see. All right. Yeah, that looks really good. A really good shot right there, huh? All right, guys, so if you want you a vlogging camera, definitely roll with the PowerShot G7X. And like I said, I've dropped this camera a million times and it still works, okay? So like I said, it's tax season. Go ahead and spend that money and get you a camera. This is the front of the camera as well. All right, so this is what the front of the camera looks like. Isn't she pretty besides the smudge right there on the lens? But it's all good. All right, guys, make sure you give me a subscribe. Make sure you also give me a thumbs up. And I will check you on the next video. Bye.